thank you all for submitting contact forms on my website. My goal is to try to answer all of your questions, respond to you, whether that be through email or actually making videos dedicated to your numbers, your current situation, where you're at, and how I can potentially serve you, what direction would I go if I'm in your shoes. So today I'm reading a question from Michael, so shout out to you, Michael, 57 years old. Our income per month is $5,000. We're saying that we spend $3,000 a month. We're over $270,000 in debt. We have a net cash flow of $2,000 a month, give or take. And as a career, he's a firefighter. And his question is, would like advice on paying off my house and future income after retirement. So a combination of how do we eliminate debt, where he's currently at, and then also put a plan in place to create future cash flow vehicles, income after retirement, which isn't too far out for this gentleman, 57 years old. I'm assuming, depending on how long you've been a firefighter, maybe retirement is up in the next, say, five to seven years, I would assume. If, if not, then you know he'll, he'll express that to me. But those of you who are in your, your mid-50s, right? You're approaching 60 and it's 2023. Let me be abundantly clear to you. I don't see a scenario in any state in the United States today. I don't see a scenario where making $5,000 a month makes any financial sense at all. Okay. I don't care how frugal you are. It, it, it really doesn't matter how little money you spend even if you were living in a shack in the ghetto i'm telling you this is still not enough money right like i would really like to start and when i say start it's like i've been saying this for for years but i don't think i've been putting the pressure on enough where a lot of my material is about that stewardship right how are we managing the money that we already make how do we keep more of the money we already make per month? How do we get out of debt faster? How do we you know, become debt free, become debt leveraged? How do we leverage the tools in our economic system today? These are all fantastic things to talk about. We don't want to stop there, okay? We want to also be thinking about multiplication. How can we multiply the value of being a firefighter? So this is a shout out to all the firefighters in the United States. If you're a firefighter, husband, married, wife, right? You got kids, you got a family. I believe you guys already have a really good set of discipline just from that career alone. So you already have a, a discipline we need to be able to transfer some of that discipline to your finances so you can become a better steward first of where you're at let's get a grip on where we're at today then from there we want to build a five to ten year wealth plan so from age 57 to 67 what could we do in production that would outperform the last 30 40 years of your working career we need to think in that perspective, right? I'm meeting you at 57 years old. So from this point on, you are now being exposed to wisdom, knowledge, information to help multiply your life. If we think, if we measure in 10x, right, which is just a concept of, of multiplication, right? If I can think how can I go from making 5,000 a month to 50,000 a month from age 57 to 67? What is the possibility of that? What action steps, what mindset, what systems, automated systems, what kind of people do I need to surround myself with to produce that number? And again, even if I fail miserably in 10 years, I fail miserably and I only make 25,000 a month, I don't think you're gonna be upset at age 67. 
So we need to start this, this community on this channel. I really want to encourage those that are reaching out to me with these low numbers, low income. I get it. This is average American income, right? Five, six thousand, seven thousand a month. And we're, we're thinking, how do I save my way out of this? How do I pay my way out of this by getting out of debt? And then I'll, you know, be okay. I hate to break it to you, even if we do all those things, even if we're a good steward over our finances, even if we pay off all our debt, right? Even if we, you know, avoid debt like the plague, don't ever go back into debt. Still ain't going to be enough, right? When it comes to medical expenses, the lifestyle that you want to have at age 67, how much more traveling are you going to be doing at that age when you fully are retired? How many more times are you going to be traveling to see the kids, see the family, okay? And you're not going to be working. So we need to run the math. If Social Security, I'm assuming you might have a pension as a firefighter. Maybe not. I'm assuming you have some kind of income there that would, that would get produced, some kind of a package. But if not, let's just say that doesn't exist. All we, all we have is Social Security and maybe a 401k plan, maybe some savings, right? We need to figure out for Michael as a firefighter, how can we create cash flow vehicles in your life? And let's think really unique. So something that comes to mind, if I was a firefighter in the 21st century today, in the age of social media, in the age of information, right? There is a trillion dollar industry that you could be a part of. That trillion dollar industry has to do with consulting, coaching, literally speaking, giving advice, guidance, consulting, coaching on a particular topic or, or skill or, or an area of skills that you have developed in your 57 years of living on planet Earth that people would be, be willing to pay at a premium or just a pay, just be willing to pay you for your value on an abundant level. That could look like, I, like if I'm a firefighter today, I'm immediately going to figure out a content creation strategy to build a brand around what it's like to be a firefighter in the United States, in New York, in Florida, get really niche, real specific. So you start building a community that educates the next generation, how they can effectively and efficiently become a firefighter. And then maybe by doing that, I could build a curriculum that helps young people pass whatever certifications and tests are needed to become a firefighter. And then I can maybe create content on the PT training, the physical requirements, how to stay healthy as a firefighter in the 21st century, in this particular city and state. Da, 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 da. This is all content that I could be giving for free. In exchange for that, I build a community that gets a lot of value from that. And maybe they're willing to give some money to me to provide that value. I can literally set up a, a fund where I can say, hey, this is what I'm doing. These are my goals. I'm looking to achieve financial freedom. I'm looking to protect my family. I'm looking to give in these areas. If you found value in this content, you can give here below. Cash App, Venmo, Zelle, PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe. So you just create these distribution channels where, where people can release their funds to you, you provide the value to them, it's a win-win. Now we just created a cash flow vehicle by using this voice of yours. So that's something I'd be considering even at the age of 57 years old. That's a young, that's young. I don't know why I get so many people to think they're old when they hit 50, 60. I don't know, maybe I might feel that way when I get there. I highly doubt it, but we'll see. Only time will tell. So I'd be really interested in doing that as a firefighter. Second, could I get hired and get paid tens of thousands of dollars maybe to be a public speaker representing the industry of being a firefighter 
and going to universities and talking about that career and, and then how to maybe manage my money. After I build an audience through content and community, could I maybe educate my audience on products and services that firefighters use? That maybe I could set up brand deals or maybe I can set up sponsorship deals or maybe I can set up affiliate and referral partnerships with companies that provide products and services to firefighters and now I'm educating firefighters in the United States about products and services is going to better your life. And I create content about that, evergreen content that maybe creates an income stream. So now I don't even have to do the selling, right? I just, boom, here's a link. They click the link, boom, that other firefighter purchases that equipment, that use outside of whatever is being provided at their department. I don't know. So there's, there's two components. There's stewardship. How do we manage what God has already given us? How do we spend less than what we already make? How do we eliminate debts that are costing us tons of money and interest and sucking away all our cash flow? How can we leverage capital, build credit to maybe accelerate on the side of multiplying our income? Doesn't have to be all the sexy hot stuff. Doesn't have to be Bitcoin and investing in stocks and trading options and Forex and things that make no sense to you as a firefighter. If we were to think, wait a minute, I got all these years of experience in the being a firefighter. How can we make money in that but requires less physical work, right? Because I can only use these hands and feet for so long. I am 57 years old, right? As I'm talking to Michael here, who is a firefighter. I could be using my brain more right? Thinking is actually the hardest work most people will never do. So if we can think and strategize together, jump on a call. If you're cash flowing 2000 bucks a month, it wouldn't hurt to jump on a consultation with me first. Let's build a relationship. So I would say we, we'd start there. And then if you want to go the full journey, I'd recommend my full coaching program. We work together for years to come because I'm in it for the long haul. I'm looking to work with people for a lifetime. So if you're interested in that, right, as of 2023, my coaching program right now is $2,750, right? From now until the end of 2023, it'll, it'll increase in 2024. So you might want to take advantage of that now, or we just start with a consultation, 275, or we can go monthly, just 275 a month and just work together on a monthly basis. You get access, full access to me. We book calls throughout the month, month to month. On a monthly basis and we have a blast together and again it's those two components stewardship help keep more of the money you already make manage it give that new cash flow that we would acquire together purpose all right while simultaneously figuring out how do we create income after retirement future income after retirement by creating cash flow vehicles in the area that you already have skills gifts and talents in nobody's doing it so there's a huge opportunity for a firefighter to get on social media, start creating content, start educating us on how that industry works, right? How we can get promotions faster, get raises faster, be more productive. I mean, there's there's got to be ways. So depending on how long you've been a firefighter, you could lead that way. You could be a speaker. You could be a consultant. You could train other departments in the industry. Right, depending on the roles, depending on what role you have right now, dude, I got so many ideas that we can just strategize together, write it out on the board, and make it happen. So, I hope this video was very, very helpful and directed to you and other firefighters across the United States. There's a lot of opportunity, I think, right now to become an influence, to go pro, become professional in what it is that you do, and have dominion over it. Everything just dominate in your area because guess what there's no competition there really isn't when you have this kind of a mindset dude you're competing against yourself right like how do i become a better version of myself at 58 and you look back when you were 57 did i improve okay great then when you're 59 you look back at your 58 did i improve yes and then we keep going 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 i think we're going to have a blast together 
I look forward to potentially working with you and other firefighters. Love you guys, especially police officers and military. You guys already have a ton of discipline. So working with me is going to be a, a pretty smooth process. It's just unlocking wisdom and knowledge that you didn't yet have that we're ignorant to and you stepping out of your comfort zone and working with someone that's already doing this, getting in front of the camera and speaking and sharing and a, a message, a vision. I think we're, we're going to do some pretty cool work together.